Hey guys, so this is the design I'm going to show you how to do today. I'm going to be showing you on a, another artificial nail instead of my real nails. Let me show you the inspiration for this design. It is this article. Let me pan out just a bit here. It's this shoe. It's at Neiman Marcus in case you want to run out and buy it. And I just love the colors, the spring colors, the flowers, and the, the green vine wrapped around the foot. I just really liked the shoe. So I decided to come up with a design. And this is the design I came up with just inspired by the shoe. So let's get to the tutorial. So I have my nail here and I'm using Sinful Colors San Francisco and this is two coats and I'm applying three coats so this is the third coat because I want a dark green leafy color and see I've achieved that so I'm going to let that dry and I'll be right back to paint the flowers so now I'm going to start with the flowers and I'm going to start with the orange. I have my horrible looking palette off to the side here and I'm going to start with the orange and for the orange I'm using um, just acrylic paint. Let me show you the bottle. This Craftsman and the color is pure pumpkin and I'm going to just make a flower let me get a little bit closer for you guys so you can see better. Okay, so I'm going to make, just make some petals here. Okay, that's not the best looking flower, but you guys get the idea what it should look like. So now we're going to move on to the pink flower, and the pink flower should go uh, somewhere in this area. You want your flowers to kind of go in this direction, sort of like a side swipe. So we're going to paint the pink flower in the middle here and I'm going to just turn my nail a little bit slightly and I usually trace my flowers first where I like them to be and then I go in and I fill them in that tends to work better for me I'm not the best at painting flowers I need practice so usually if I do my outline first and go back and paint them in they tend to look a little bit better Okay, so I'm going to move on to our third flower, which again, we'll be making another orange flower. And that will go at the tip in this area here. So I'm just going to make, see I'm gonna turn the nail this way. And again, I'm just tracing where I'd like my flower to be first, and then I'm going to 
fill it in and I hope you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm just going to paint a few highlights in the petals and for that I'm just mixing the orange with a little bit of white. So I'm just going to very lightly touch the petals. You don't want too much, you just want just a little of highlight. Like that. And I'm going to do it to the other. And then for the pink, you just want a little bit on the petals, like that. So I'm going to let that dry, and then we're going to move on to our next step. Okay, so you just place one micro bead on each petal. So for the pink flower, I'm going to use the silver mini beads and I'm going to be placing them in the middle of the pink flower. I'm going to be placing some gold dots. This is optional, but I'm using this color by Pure Ice, it's called Jaguar. It's just a light gold color. And I'm going to just put them in between the flowers. And your design should look something like that. When you're done, just put top coat on to seal up your design and seal in those micro beads, and you're all done. Now let me show you the other one that I had done previously, which looks a little bit better. But again, my inspiration for these for this design was the shoe <laughs> that you can see here. So I wasn't trying to copy the shoe, I just loved the colors together and the flowers and the leaves. So this is what I came up with and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.